Alright guys, we're back on the Amber Island, the second monster we're gonna unlock into the game. It looks like it's going to be the Barb. And, you know, it's funny because I was just watching the verdict for the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard case. And suddenly I go on in here and I notice they use the same word, you know, the Amber Island. The Amber, which, which reminds me of uh, the Tra, I don't know why. But anyways, we're here and... I'm unlocking this monster now because this thing's gonna end in six or seven days, one of them. And I just unlocked this, or I didn't unlock it, I, I started uh, upgrading it. So I finally got to upgrade it, which I'm happy about. I mean, can you imagine? I wanna know how much it upgrades by. You see, the thing is, I know I need to upgrade it, but I don't know how much I need to upgrade it by, right? Like, what the heck, you know? How much do I need to upgrade this thing by? That's what I want to know. Or I mean, how much it upgrades by, my bad. I have 18 beds. So I have 18 beds, I don't know when it finishes, but I don't want to put 31 diamonds into rushing it, because even if I rush it, what's the point? Right, because after I do it, nothing happens. Alright, so here's the barb. Again, this is the same monster on the other island. Fire! Class! Wind! Plant and fire. It makes no sense to me. It doesn't look like it's a fire class monster. It doesn't have no fire aura, right? I mean, it's just the same monster on a different island with a different word. But it's here. Let's see what benefits it gives me. Hopefully it gives me some benefits. Let's move them over here. So it doesn't give me any benefits to any of the monsters over here. Not the Pangler, not the not the new one, not the old one. So it's pretty much a useless monster. I don't know what to say, I'm sorry. All right, let's look at the, how much it generates. This is actually the first time I feel it's important. This generates one a month. You see, usually I don't care how much the thing generates. But the relics are ho so hard to get. I mean, that's when I start caring. You know what they should do? If they really care about the players, right, and the game, they will release something similar to this, right, and call it the Diamond Island. Think about it. Monsters on islands that does all similar things like this that can only generate diamonds. Imagine that, right? That would be freaking cool. And what the heck is with this? Where? When did I get this day? Well, you know, I'm surprised. Anyways, going back to my idea. You know, the diamond island that can only generate diamonds. Right, the monster's there, and then as you feed it up, it's just like the relics, right? Because the relic is pretty much like, it's useless. It's just to collect these monsters, and it doesn't do anything. But if they have a diamond island, I mean, people would be going on there to play every day just to collect the diamonds and leveling up their monsters to collect the diamonds, right? I mean, and then just make it as scarce as this. But no, they, they did it with the relics, and I'm sitting around, what the hell? You know, it's like, I use the relic to buy the monsters here anyways, and then... I have to use, it, it's, it doesn't give me a sense of accomplishment. It doesn't really. It makes me feel pretty sad too because I have all these monsters. They're stuck on this thing, right? So anyways, think about it. The Diamond Island with Diamond Monsters only. That would be cool. I mean, it would be like similar to this, but, you know, it's diamonds. Oh, what the? Wait, this, this, oh, okay. This, uh, that one I bought. Interesting. So anyways, there's the barb. We'll be back in the next video. It looks like this is going to end in six days as we unlock the next monster. What's the next monster? The flower in the game. 